me that storm breaker. A humble barn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes. Very good move. Are a humble fruit. They are sweet. They are plump. They are juicy. They are lovely, adaptable, versatile, and surprisingly saucy. <laughs> hmm. The first time I saw Tommaso's name written down, I said, now who the heck is naming themselves Tomato? <laughs> And Tommaso has never let me forget that. <laughs> but Tommaso is like a tomato. He is sweet. He is surprisingly humble, especially for a performer. Trust me on this one. <laughs> he has the most noble heart that I have encountered in ages. I have seen him turn from his performance and speak out to somebody who is new, who is confused, who is scared, and will teach them at a drop of a hat. There we go, theatrics. <laughs> and yet at the same time, he is humble enough to know when he still needs to learn. And he takes that with the same grace and spirit with which he teaches. I have never seen him raise his voice in anger, but I have often heard him raise his voice in song, in joy, and laughter. During the darkest parts of the pandemic where we could not meet in person, he tirelessly came to a ferial bardic after a ferial bardic and he sang, and he played, and he taught, and he nurtured others, and was a shining, glorious light to the kingdom. And now, polished and all full of bay leaves, which go really well with tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> he is a gift an absolute gift to this kingdom. And though I am but a humble bard, I cannot think of a more worthy person to recommend to your majesty for the order of the laurel, because being like Tommaso is what I aspire to. And I love him.